quite familiar with Connor's stage performances. His energy and charisma captures everyone in the room. I was also pleasantly surprised at how well organised his tour was, but things haven't always been this way. Yeah, I remember sleeping at friends' houses, going on tour and then busking to get train tickets back and... Oh yeah, before my time by the sound of it. Yeah. Like not being able to afford a train ticket back, but going to do the gig anyway, taking the guitar and busking to be able to get back. But this is much better organised and it's definitely the best one we've done so far, isn't it? Yeah, this has been brilliant so far. Touring at Connor's level is all about building a fan base, and on the journey to Halifax, there's time to catch up with them on Twitter. Woke up this morning, 76 Twitter notifications. <laughs> Love them. It was about 15 or 16 on Facebook. Yeah, they've been brilliant. He's also been receiving several gifts along the way. Um, it's one of these bracelets, which I've already got, a black one. 
um, and she gave me a white one at the meet and greet signing, which looks like this, which is really nice. But I didn't notice until after I got back in the hotel room, she put her phone number <laughs> on the inside with a love art and it goes perfectly round and all the numbers fit on there. And I was like, oh, that is cheekiness. We like a bit of cheeky on tour though, so thank you for that. I'll tweet your pictures of it. Keep giving me gifts because I love to uh, get what you send me. And yeah, I will see you at the next dates on a tour. Halifax tonight, it should be a blast. Let's go. Late nights and early mornings are something Connor has become accustomed to when on tour. There's something quite appealing about visiting a different place every day and everyone waiting for you to arrive. First gig I've done in this town as well, so it'll be cool. The biggest crowd I've performed to is 10,000, which was a bit nuts. Um, it was like amazing, a really, really great experience. Um, but so far on this tour, Nottingham's definitely been the biggest. Um, the atmosphere's been great. Um, but this place looks really, really nice. Um, and yeah, they're just really confident in getting a lot of people in, so it's obviously a popular place to come. And how do you think Bob is finally this tour? He's, he's, do, he's got a job to do, you know, he is a business, he's not coming out here like for a laugh, he's here to help me do my work. Um, it helps a lot for, on his side when he's got all the people that he can contact right there and then, um, and they're really good at communication, so he's finding it easier on that front, but that's again helps, um, it's a massive thank you to the staff and the venues really. Has he ever gone on the dance floor? And, uh, no. <laughs> no, no, of course he doesn't. When he does though, I'm pulling you there with that camera though. Because if he does, I've never seen him bust a move. Never seen him. He's seen me, I shuffle like every night. Part of my room up, warm up routine. But uh, no, I don't think you'll see him dancing. If you do, you might need to make another doc documentary. Dancing was certainly not happening outside this news agent. This scene makes a car pulling away seem exciting. Oh look, some interesting architecture in the background. Right now we're going to see my mad, mad family. Um, my mum, my sister and my dad, who you will have massive amounts of fun talking to, I'm sure. Um, I like to ring them whenever I'm on the road, but um, as we're on to Peterborough tonight, this is kind of on the way. So we're just going to take a little detour. You can uh, meet the people that, uh, I was going to say produced me, but that's not very nice, the people that brought me up. Good. Um, looking forward to my mum's cooking. That's the thing I miss probably most um, when I'm on tour. Good old healthy meal from the mother. What's the favourite thing um, you like to eat that she cooks? Not fish. She always cooks fish, and she knows I doesn't like. I don't like it, and she always cooks it. She tries to get me into it, um, but she does like um, a lot of pasta stuff, um, which is always nice. And then weird and wonderful things she just throws together at the drop of an hat and all. Don't ask for rice because she puts these like green beans in there that taste of mint and they take your head off if you eat. I'm sure you're not supposed to have them in there when you eat, but she does. Hello? Get burgled and no one would know. No one here, should I throw a house party? This is a big part of my life. This is Monty, my dog. We better not go in there yet. Oh yeah, Justin Bieber. You'll uh, hear a lot of that while you're here. My sister is obsessed with Mr. Bieber. We won't go in there yet because that's where my mum and dad are and um, my mum will not be ready. Connor is wandering around his parents' house looking for life, bumps into his mum who is clearly very observant. Right, a little bit you? early. Sorry, yeah, I haven't got any hot water, so that's it's right. taken us 40 minutes to fill up a yeah. bath. What'd you do? Put kettles and whatever. 
Have you got a microphone on? Yeah, it's, it's on, but they're not going to use it. Thing, it. It's always on, but they won't use it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is it really recording or something? Yeah, it's always on, yeah. It's always on. How long were you at college? And just describe to me the time you spent there. Did you enjoy it? Um, I was at college for two years, um, between 2008-2010. I studied a BTEC National Diploma in um, music, which is um, everything really to performance, music business, publishing, um, everything like that. And I graduated with a distinction. Um, so that was cool. And I was driving as well at that time, passed my test, driving test when I was 17. So I was kind of giving everyone lifts to college, which um, was eventful and we just used to go out and do stuff at the night. I had jobs as well. This is the time I was working at McDonald's um, to afford to run everything that I do. So yeah, it was a good good time in my life. Didn't really have any worries. What car did you drive? I drove a Seat Arosa, which is still out there actually. Um, need to clean it really because it's been sat can there for a while. Can you still drive it? I can still drive it, yeah, but like, when I'm back, if I only come back for a week, it's not really worth me renewing insurance and getting it sawned, taxed, MOT'd, everything like that. So I can do, but at the moment, it's just not really uh, efficient for me to do that. This is my mother, Claire. Say hello, Mum. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Who I miss very much when I'm away, doing all my um, touring and all my business, but it's always nice to come back. Say hello. It's always nice to have you back. So what are we cooking today, Mum? Well, what are you cooking? I'm not cooking. Oh, well, I'm cheating because I'm putting two ready-made pizzas in the oven. And I'll be doing a salad, and I'll be doing some sweet potatoes in their jackets for lunch. Nice. Right. There's no business like show Bit of business. wine. Ooh. No, I don't, don't drink before I perform. I've got a gig tonight, haven't I? Oh, OK. In P-Town. Where? Peterborough. Oh, okay. Over there is my sister, oh, Scarlett. She's not shy about being on camera. Hello. And what have you just got a job doing, Scarlett? Um, hairdressing and working in the salon in Kingsland. What's the place called? The Witch. It's some PR. I'll give you a rise for that. Pay rise. And over there is my dad, Chris. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave you to say what you want to say, son. <laughs> I won't say anything. So when you come home and spend time with your family, what do you like to do? I can tell you what I like to do. <laughs> Xbox. Yeah, Xbox mainly. Well, you always know when Connor's home because nobody can watch the television because he's playing nothing but Xbox. I don't know what games it is. FIFA. Yeah. And uh, Fight Night. Those are the two games spend most He does time. usually ask, but once he's on there, Unless bargain hunts on, or uh, QI, oh. or University Challenge, I can't interfere with the telly if that's no. on. I get a clip. Or eggheads. Yeah, or, or eggheads. What or, other ones? Or question time. Property ladder. Escape to the country. Location, location, location. All that stuff. <laughs> well, I try to get my dad into Family Guy, but he doesn't understand why they can't. Why they can understand the baby Stewie, and he's questioning it all the time. Well, it put me off that you said I looked like Peter. Yeah, he does look, at, I think, a bit like Peter Griffin, yeah. Who's Peter? What, not Family the guy. funny chin? Yeah. Um, oh, what, before you lost your weight? You probably did. How much weight did you, have you lost, Dad? Three stone. Three stone. How did you lose all that weight? Having kids. <laughs> <laughs> And Scarlett, how cool is it having a brother like Connor? Well, it was cool until the girls at my school found out. We <laughs> get left alone now. I remember when I first went up to high school, every girl that used to come, oh my god, are you Connor Manning's sister? Yeah, yeah, I was still do it now. So in here, this is my room. What I come back and sleep in anyway. Um, my room used to be that one when I lived here permanently, my sister now has it. It's my electric drum kit. Got a few other things in here. Um, these are my guitars here, some of them. Um, I always keep my acoustic one with me, but this is like the most expensive one I have. Uh, electric guitar, which I'll show you. 
So this is where I spent like a good three, four years of my life playing this in the band. A bit out of tune, so I won't give you anything on it. Scotch egg. <laughs> Would you like? I can't do it now. Connor used to do this thing on the trampoline where well, we used to double bounce me, and I used to. Is that all right? I would do my front flip. But performance tonight, remember? But if I break my neck, that's still over. <laughs> Look at you on there. But yeah, that is a lovely picture. So is this what you envisaged he'd be doing with his life? <laughs> No, I don't think I really thought at all what he would be doing with his life. He was always a lovely little boy. He was always smiling, he was always happy. He used to make everybody laugh. And he was never, ever, ever miserable. And he's still never miserable now. And he was always a happy little soul. And as long as he stays like that, then that's all right. Yeah. Going away and I don't know when I'll be seeing you. I'm a little baby in 20. You're a little baby to me. <laughs> little baby to me. <sighs> Certainly, that he, he he has what it takes. With Connor, what we're going to do is we're going to try and put in place some sort of clothing 